All right, here we are back again for another test of the aero covers on and aero covers off of the Model Y Gemini 19 inch wheels that do have the aero covers that you can take on and off. We're going to take it out for a ride and today we're going to do more miles and hopefully it's less busy so we can do a better test and see what the efficiency is, the efficiency difference between aero covers on and aero covers off. So here we go. So I did forget to mention that we are gonna be going on the interstate only for this test. We're gonna to try to do 10 miles this time uh, for each leg of the trip. We're gonna do 10 miles going north, 10 miles going south with the aero covers on. And then we're gonna do 10 miles going north and south with the aero covers off and compare the efficiency. We're gonna be going 70 miles per hour, all interstate. So it should be a pretty quick test. Uh, should be able to get it done in about an hour, but hopefully we will be more conclusive this time and not run into a bunch of traffic like we did last time. That's the goal. All right, so here we are. Gonna get up to speed. Gonna go 70 miles per hour on the interstate. Gonna stay in the right lane. Hopefully we won't encounter too much traffic, which would obviously impact the test. All right, so there we are, 70 miles per hour. Gonna reset. Actually, Gonna reset at the sign here. Okay. There it is. Set with the arrows on. Going north. come up on our exit went 11.7 miles 284 watt hours per mile all right we're gonna reset it at this speed limit sign on our way back Get over 10 miles again. Starting out uphill, so starting out over 700 wires per mile. We'll go down quick, I'm sure. Miles, 249 watt hours per mile. 
All right, so we just did the first round trip and it went pretty well. We got over 20 miles round trip and we got the numbers for the water hours per mile. So we're gonna go ahead and take the aero covers off and do it again. North again, this time with the arrow covers off. I'm gonna reset right there. All right, so we're reset with the arrow covers off, going northbound. again and 304 watt hours per mile all right last leg of the trip aero covers off hoping to get up to speed here reset at the speed limit sign okay we're actually going 67 behind these motorcycles here, but hopefully we're gonna speed up pretty quick. There we go, yeah, we're going up to 70 miles per hour now. Finishing up the final leg of the loop and with the aero covers off, we are right at 12.2 miles, 268 watt hours per mile. So overall, it seemed like it was a pretty good test. It seemed like we got to do the same route and didn't have too much trouble with it either way. It is pretty clear, I think, that the aero covers off is less efficient than aero covers on which is obviously expected so i'll go ahead and break it here and talk about the results after i've gotten a chance to compile them so we did this test yesterday on the efficiency of the model y with aero covers on and aero covers off and i am happy to say that it was a conclusive test and i think a more accurate complete test than we did last time. And actually after the results, I would like to do a longer term test, um, possibly, you know, maybe for like a week of regular driving, to see what the difference is. Really where those air covers come into play is at the high speed, 70 miles per hour. So the best test of the efficiency gains for the aero covers on versus off is when you're going around 70 miles per hour or faster consistently. So if you were going on a road trip, that's when the aero covers would be most uh, beneficial for you to keep on the 19 inch Gemini wheels. Uh, if you're just doing daily driving around town, going 30 to 50 miles per hour on side streets, I would say that the aero covers are not gonna do anything for you and it'd probably be fine for you to just have the aero covers off if you get those wheel cap covers, that would look pretty good, I think. So definitely something to check into if you like the looks of the Gemini wheels without the aero covers and plan on using 
the car around town a lot more than on road trips. And then you can just pop those aero covers on on road trips and get that better efficiency gain from the aero covers. All right, so we got back in and have put all the numbers together in a chart. And as it turns out, a little bit more uh, efficiency gain than I was expecting having those aero covers on and then the aero covers off on the 19 inch Gemini wheels. We did end up with on the northbound test an efficiency gain by having the aero covers on of 7.042%. So we did <clears throat> get 284 watt hours per mile on the northbound test with aero covers on and then two and then 304 watt hours per mile with the aero covers off. Similarly, on the southbound leg of the trip with the aero covers on, we had 249 watt hours per mile and then 268 watt hours per mile with the aero covers off. So both tests, actually a lot more efficiency loss uh, with those aero covers off than I was expecting. I was expecting more like four or five percent, um, but it looks like at least in this test, it was over seven percent for both legs of the trip. So what do you think? Do you think that's actually a higher or lower percentage difference than you were expecting. I was expecting uh, more like 5%, but one additional interesting note, I did check and compare what the actual rated miles would have been at the different efficiencies. So on our northbound test with the aero covers on, the rated efficiency, if we continued, uh, the rated range would have been around 262 miles for a full charge if we had been going uh, <clears throat> with that efficiency for the entire battery. For the southbound, with aero covers on, we would have gotten more like 299 miles on a full charge, which is closer to the EPA range. Again, EPA range of 316 miles rated with the aero covers on. Uh, that would be probably pretty achievable at 60 to 65 miles per hour. I definitely think we need to go out and do a test of that and see if we could get over 316 miles rated range if we dropped it down to 60 to 65 miles per hour. And with the air covers off, we would have gotten 245 miles going at 304 watt hours per mile efficiency and we would have gotten 278 miles on a full charge going with the efficiency of 268 watt hours per mile. There you go, the difference between going uh, 70 miles per hour with the aero covers on and off is the difference of somewhere between 17 and 22 miles. So let's say around 20 miles more range on a charge if you used the aero covers versus taking those aero covers off. Definitely seems worthwhile to me. What did you think? If you had the aero wheels, uh, so if you had the 19 inch Gemini wheels on your Model Y, would you ride with the covers on or the covers off? Uh, I pretty much prefer the covers on because I like efficiency all the time. Uh, and if it's even if it was even 2% gain, I would probably consider that worthwhile to keep them on there. But it looks like it's at least 5%, in this case, over 7% in this test, and going 70 miles per hour. So that's definitely worth it for most of my cases. You could argue that the aero covers off are a little bit better looking maybe, uh, especially if we got some uh, matching aero caps or matching caps for those wheels. Um, however, I think that uh, the aero covers look pretty good. So obviously it's just a personal preference, but uh, because I like the looks of the aero covers and they are more efficient, I'm definitely going to be using those on our Model Y. So there it is, there's the test. Looks like aero covers do help with efficiency. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this on the Model Y or the Model 3, please subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.